Now we will see the usage of behavior burn or met. Now fire up AVR8 burner mat. This has got a simple interface. It requires Win AVR to be installed uh, initially, and you have to direct the Win AVR location, AVR dude, and Win AVR location in the settings. Otherwise, uh, this burner mat won't recognize your. USB ASB device under settings click on AVR dude and go to AVR location you click on this file generally win AVR is uh, located in your C drive go to C win AVR Under bin avia, avia dude is located in a bin folder. You select avia dude exe and click open. Same way you have to do, uh, same way you have to locate the avia dude configuration file. Click on this uh, file again under C. Go to Win AVR and under Bin AVR Dude con configuration file is there. Select it. So this setting is very important for the proper operation of uh, burner mat. Otherwise, uh, your USB ASP hardware won't be recognized. And under Programmer, you have to select. Uh, under Programmer, you have to select USB ASP, and port should be selected as USB. These four settings are. These four settings are important for proper functioning of this uh, burner mat. Finally, click Apply and then OK. Now you can select the hex file by clicking on, on this file. Click open. And then click write. Now your hex file will be loaded onto the target IC. flash uh, is successfully written. You can see it is very faster than the other two programs. There is also a fuse editor. Click on this fuses. A separate window will open. You can see the first three fuse bits are uh, uh, given in red color. You cannot change this. If you want to change it, you can you change the mode to expert. Then you can change the these three uh, fuse bits. If you want to change any of these fuse bits, you change the checkbox. Remember, a zero means programmed. That is your tick mark means zero and it is enabled. Tick mark is zero and if it is uh, no tick mark, it is one and not programmed. It, that is, it is disabled. And finally, you click on this right fuses.
now we will see the usage of AVR burner mat. Fire up the AVR burner mat. This has got a very simple interface. Actually, Win AVR has to be pre installed for proper functioning of this uh, burner mat. And under settings, you have to locate the AVR Dude EXE and the configuration files. So under settings, select AVR Dude and under AVR Dude location, click on the file. Generally, AVR Dude is located under Win AVR. Go to C drive. Generally, Win AVR is uh, installed under C drive directly. Locate the Win AVR. Under bin avia, there is a bin folder. Open that bin, bin folder and select avia dude.exe. Same way, the configuration file you have to locate. Click on this file. Under C drive, open bin avia. And a bin, there is a configuration file. Open it. And under AVR Dude options, you have to select the programmer as USB ASP. Select USB ASP, and port should be selected as USB. These four settings are very important for usage of a burner mat. Otherwise, your USB ASP hardware won't be recognized by this software. Don't forget to apply and then click OK. For proper functioning of this AVR uh, burner mat, you require Win AVR to be pre-installed. But Win AVR has its own programmer, so this uh, program can be used as an additional graphical user interface for Win AVR. Click on this file and select the hex file click right you can see the AVR dude in action comparatively this burner mate is very faster than the other two programs extreme burner and uh, AVR pal.net takes some time to program but this uh, program is very fast flash is successfully written okay now you can change the fuse bits. Click on fuses. A separate window opens. You can see the first three fuse bits in red color. If you want to change these fuse bits, you have to go to the mode and select expert. So these three fuse bits are very uh, crucial to change. So so it is given under separate expert mode if you want to change any of the fuse bits you can select the tick mark or remove the tick mark a tick mark means zero or programmed or enabled and a no tick mark means it is one or not programmed or disabled Finally, you can write the fuses by clicking on this button. Finally, we will see the usage of Synapro. Synaprog is a standalone program and no installation is required. Double click on this uh, application. It has got a very simple interface. Under programmer, you have to set the USB ASP as uh, 
programmer and port should be selected as uh, USB you can load the hex file by clicking on this uh, browse button locate the hex file to be loaded onto the target IC under flash you can click on program now you can see the flash memory is being written if you want to change the fuse bits under fuses you click on advanced now the default values are uh, red high fuse is uh, D9X and low fuse is E1 if you want to change these bits you have to directly feed the hex values here uh, and click on write thank you for watching